you're a business owner and your sales decreased dramatically in 2022, I'm going to tell you this one piece of advice that I believe is going to change the game for you literally for the rest of your life, but definitely for this year. There's this thing that the whole world revolves around and it's called pattern. Are you opening it for me? Thank you. Can I see that? What is it? It's my face moisturizer. So there, it's called patterns and the whole world revolves around patterns. And when you are able to recognize patterns and then create patterns, it's going to change your entire life. Let me explain. So right now our economy is in a recession. We can also call it a winter. Housing prices are up. Inflation is crazy. Interest rates are insane. And like people working in two income households are still tr struggling to pay bills. It's a huge problem, right? The good news is if you look back over history, this has happened over and over and over again. Our economy has been in recessions. Our economy has been in depressions. And when you look at history, what happens after a depression or a recession? A thriving economy. We move into what's called a spring. The same way that seasons change every week, every year, our economy changes. Now they're longer than years. Typically a winter can last anywhere from five to 10 years. We're a good halfway through our winter as most experts say. But the good news for you as a business owner is 80% of Fortune 500 companies actually thrive and, and grow and are built in winter economies. So the good news for you as a business owner is winter economies cause you to have to learn how to pivot. So you have to learn how to grow your business in a time when things are difficult. But the good thing is when times are easy, your business is going to grow with ease. Right now, this probably feels like really frustrating, but honestly, the things that it's gonna help you to learn how to do is gonna help you scale your business in an incredible day, and it's gonna long-term give you more freedom to have more time with your family and to do more things that you love and to create a business that actually reaches more people. This definitely is gonna warrant a part two, but I just want this to be an encouragement to you that this is the best time ever to grow your business, and let's talk more about it in part two. Please feel free to drop any questions you have and I will do more parts on this. But we're going to talk in the next one about practical tips on how you can grow in a winter economy.